Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Sorry the content's a little slow this weekend and I'm doing a lot of voiceovers. It's because I can get them done a lot faster. We're busy on a movie set all weekend, but I will get the Q&As out this evening at some point. And I just want to cover a little topic because I think people get lost in all this talk about why they should work out. I want to let guys know that they're probably not going to look like their natty heroes uh, without using large amounts of drugs or that they shouldn't be getting ultra ripped. Guys are like, well, why should I work out? Why should I work out? You know what, guys? Look, every human being on the planet who wants to be healthy should be lifting weights. Everyone. There's no excuse not to. Everyone can find the time to get to the gym and lift two to three days a week, no matter who you are. And the benefits of it make it intrinsically valuable to every human being on earth. And I put Jack Lane up above because uh, Jack Lane died. He was either 94 or 96. I don't remember which. He swam the English Channel for his 92nd birthday. He was one of the first public figures in fitness. He was the original fitness guru. And he used to attribute his longevity and even his back staying healthy up into his 80s and 90s to doing the deadlift. So people need to realize that there are amazing health benefits that are shown by the literature now to lifting weights. Uh, number one on the list, lifting weights reduces your cancer rates by 50%. It cuts them in half, at least according to all the data. And then they, the data also seems to show that if you do develop cancer and you lift weights regularly, that your chance of surviving that cancer and surviving the treatment for it double. And if any of you have ever seen a loved one die of cancer, remember your family and I have, it's a pretty terrible way to go. So just cutting your odds in half of that are worth two or three hours a week in the gym or less, because it doesn't even take that much to get that benefit. The next is going to be reduction in diabetes. Lifting weights regularly with moderate intensity or more has been shown to reduce diabetes rates by about 70%. That is, again, a worthwhile thing. A lot of you know people who are on insulin and things, members of your family who are older. Cutting that down 70% from just one thing, lifting weights, is tremendous. That is a tremendous quality of life improvement for you. Next is going to be a cardiovascular disease because all of those factors are affected by your weightlifting also. Uh, better body composition, having less fat and more muscle, which again is going to make virtually everyone look a little bit better. Everyone. And in terms of people talking about, oh, wanting to look the best, well, if you lift weights three days a week consistently for a few years straight, you're going to be in the top 1% of the population in terms of physique anyways, even if you, you don't do everything perfect. That alone will put you there. You're already among the physique elite just by doing that compared to normal society standards. Uh, the other thing to consider is, again, the effects on bone density. A lot of you have grandparents or great-grandparents. You've had to have their hips replaced, all these broken hips, whether it's male or female. Weightlifting reduces that. It also reduces, again, bone density in your back will s reduce the rate at which you get shorter as you get older. Because you see all these really short old people, it's not just because they all started short, it's because you lose you know, six inches or more off your height due to uh, bone demineralization in your spine. And so all this improvement in bone density can help you stay taller longer. People should be lifting weights just for the intrinsic benefits and the massive effect on your quality of life and needing less drugs, less medical attention, having less life-destroying problems throughout the entirety of your life. Everyone should be lifting weights for these benefits, if nothing else, and it is a worthwhile endeavor to undertake because of that. So don't think that it's all just about trying to look like some type of fitness model for those of you who are trying to find the best motivation to live. How about not getting cancer? How about not dying a horrible death to cancer? How about not getting osteoporosis? Those are, are worthwhile reasons to do it. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.